I wasted so much time trying to figure out small and stupid things that would help me get better at making beats. Time that I will never get back, so I don't want you to do the same thing. FL Studio has so many great features, and as a beginner, your beats will level up tremendously after learning these 10 tricks. Don't waste time playing back your melody over and over again in the piano roll. If you want to quickly check how the melody sounds, hold down Alt on your keyboard and right click in the piano roll. You can also hold Alt and drag the playhead. So you just play this beautiful melody, but you forgot to press the record button. Now it's gone. Or is it? You can bring it back by going to Tools, Dump, Score, Lock, and then you can bring everything back you played for the last 30 minutes. Awesome. You've spent the last hour trying to come up with a melody, but it's just not happening today. In the piano roll, hit Alt plus R on your keyboard to open up the randomizer. Choose the octave and the range of the notes, and here you can choose a scale. By clicking on the C buttons, you can randomize the velocity, panning, and all that stuff, or you can even randomize the melodies itself. Now, of course, this doesn't really sound good, but it can be a great starting point. You should definitely mess around with the Fruity Granalyzer. This is a super underrated plugin. All you need to do is load in a sample, and with these controls, you can achieve really unique sounds. Play around with the panning, depth, speed, and everything inside this window. Sometimes projects can become really big and messy. Well, to fix that, select sounds that belong together. For example, the drums. Now press Alt-G on your keyboard, type in drums, and now you group them. You can now open that group from the drop-down menu here. We can't live without an EQ. But most of the time, we only need to do minor tweaks. For example, a high cut. Did you know that every mixer has an individual EQ that's just sitting there? If you want to save some CPU, use it for minor adjustments. It's a waste of time to color and label everything in the channel rack and then send them to the mixer track and do it there all over again. You don't have to do that, stop it. Select the sounds that need to be mixed and hit Ctrl L. And that's it, now all the sounds from the channel rack have their own mixer track and the color and the labels came with it. Also, did you know that if you press the arrow down key, you can skip four mixers? Or tracks and navigate faster in the mixer. Cool. You have this beautiful melody, but after a few bars, it sounds boring. Duplicate it and click the sound wave icon. Choose make unique. Double click the second one and move the pitch up or down 12 semitones. This will keep the melody interesting. Every producer should use free plugins like this to expand your beat making skills. In fact, I made a video about that right there. Gotta go now. Subscribe.